everybody. Welcome back. It's good to see you. Hope you're doing well. And uh, today we're doing lesson 11 on the major scale. And this is the first of the next five lessons are all going to be on theory. Uh, how scales work, how chords work, harmony, extended chords, uh, the modes, all that. We're going to break it down on the whiteboard. Some music theory for you and kind of teach you how those scales work, why they work, that good stuff. All right. So let's get started. We're going to do the major scale today. And we're going to build a major scale and explain how you build one. And then next time we'll get to the minor scale. All right. So major scales, there's certain intervals between notes that make up a scale. So we're going to start off key of G. That's a very common one for guitar players. So let's start off with a G note. All right. And then the next step would be a whole step. So two semitones. So two frets up, which would be an A. Okay. The next step would be another two semitones, two frets, which is a whole step. That'd be your B note. Then the next step is just a half step, just one fret up, which is your C. So you've got a whole step, whole step, half step. Then we're going to do another whole step to the D, another whole step to an E, another whole step, which is an F sharp. If you're to look at a piano, all the white keys are natural notes, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then the black keys are sharps and flats. Okay, so if you're to look at a piano on this, to go from an E to an F is actually um, a half step. There's no sharp or flat between E and F. Uh, so to go a whole step, you'd be up to F sharp. So like I said, if you look at a piano, there's a spot where there's two sets of keys and there's no black between them. That's between the B and the C. There is no sharp or flat between these two. There's no sharp or flat between uh, E and F. So you go a whole step from E to F would be actually F sharp. And then you've got a final half step, which brings you back to your octave. All right, this is the octave, brings you back home. Okay, and it just continues on. So it would be an F sharp right here, leading you to the G. All right, so this is your scale, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. That's based off the whole step, whole step, half step, Whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. That's how you get the key of G. That's the G major. These these intervals are what makes it a major scale. Okay? If you were to change some of these and only go like a half step, it'll actually build different scales, different modes, the natural minor, harmonic minor, melodic minor, you know, your Phrygian, like those kind of things when you start changing these intervals, which we're going to get to in each lesson, all right? So this... Is the G. Let's go with a C so you can we can practice building scale. So let's go with a C note. If we're gonna go a whole step, the next one would be half step would be C sharp or D flat, same thing. Uh, so you'd have two semitones up, so you're gonna go up to a D. Another whole step would be an E. Then you've got the half step, which would be the F. Because like I said, there's no flat or sharp between these two. Uh, another whole step would be a G. Another whole step would be A. And then a, another whole step would be B. And then to get to the octave, it's another half step. B half step is up to one fret, which is a C. And you're back home again. That's your C, E, F, G, A, B, C. This is your C major scale, all right? There's certain qualities that make it major. Um, when you have a interval for your uh, third here, just like your G, the G major scale, your third note, let's number these here for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then that's your octave is eight. Okay, same with here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and later we're going to use these numbers as well when you're building chords. So, the third note of the scale is what determines major versus minor. And uh, we'll get to the building of minor in the next one. But that third note, that B, the interval of one, it's two whole semitones, or two whole steps away from here, which is uh, four semitones. So you'd go one, two, three, four, up there. That interval makes it a major scale. That third, that this third 
that is the key, whether it's major or minor, depending on if it was only uh, it's two whole steps, so it was only one and a half step, it'd be minor. And uh, some other notes change for the minor, but this determines that it's a major scale. All right. Um, let's do another one here so you can kind of get the concept. Let's go with the E, E major scale. You got E if you went up a whole step, you'd have F sharp. Another whole step. So you got whole step. Let's go up another whole step. It'd be G sharp. Now we're going to go up a half step, which you're going to get an A. Now we're going to go up a whole step. We get B. We go up another whole step. We get C sharp. And then you're going to go up a uh, another whole step. We get D sharp. And then your last little half step is back to your octave. Back to the root note, just 12 tones, semitones higher, okay? So like your low E string in a guitar, the 12th fret, you walk your way up that scale. First fret, third fret, fourth fret, fifth, seventh, ninth, eleventh, and then the 12th fret will be your octave, your high E. So that's an E major scale. And what makes this major scale is that third note right there. That G sharp. So when you're playing, some of you know theory, when you're playing an E major chord, you've got an E, a G sharp, and then the B, which I'm going to have a whole lesson on how chords are built um, coming up. But that G major makes it a major. So th these these increments in between notes is what gives it the major characteristic, that heavy characteristic, that large step between first and second, second to third. If we're getting from here to here, those semitones, uh, two whole steps makes it major. Okay, so that's how you build a major scale. Um, you can do this for any any key you're working in. Like if you're working in the key of uh, A, we can do the same thing again. Let's do that down here just so you can see. We go A. We're gonna go a whole step to a B. Another whole step to a uh, C sharp. That C sharp is your third. That's gonna make it the major. We're going to go in a uh, half step to a D. And then we're going to go a whole step to an E. Another whole step to the F sharp. Go another whole step again. You got your G sharp. And then finally, that little half step at the end to bring you back to your octave is your A. Okay? So that's how you build a major scale. Nothing too complicated. You're just starting with your root note and then using these increments whole step, whole step, half step. Whole step, whole step, whole step half step that last half step brings you back to your your octave your root of the key and their major scales all laid out that way okay so hope that helps if you have any questions you know feel free to comment i'll see what i can do to answer them for you and i'll see you next time what we'll be talking about let me look at my notes uh, we're gonna go right into the natural minor scale after this one so okay, we'll see you next time